Hi, my name is Jimmy Odukoya, and in honor of the International Day of Elimination of Sexual Violence in Conflict, I want to speak to my brothers um, about our responsibility as men in today's society. It always breaks my heart when I hear of stories or cases where men have inflicted physical damage, whether it's physical abuse or sexual abuse against a female counterpart. Um, I think it is our responsibility as men to be protectors, to uphold our women, to protect them, to cover them, to support them, to make sure that they become the best versions of them because I feel like that is the least that we owe them because every man has a mother or had a mother. We cannot play down the importance of the role of women in society behind the fabric of every successful family is a loving wife and a mother. Every man who's ever inflicted damage on a female is a son to a mother, is a brother to a sister, and if you don't have sisters, is a cousin to somebody that is a woman or a girl. And I think that we owe it to them to do better. Every time I hear about physical abuse, I think it's the highest form of cowardice when somebody uses a position of power or strength to inflict pain or manipulate or oppress a person because they can. You know, I heard it said before that true power is having the ability to do something and yet hold back. I think that we need to disabuse our mind from this entitlement mentality that says because we are male in a chauvinistic society that we can do whatever and be however we want and no one can call us to book. That every woman must listen and submit themselves to us because we have male genitalia not trying to be responsible or not trying to be mature. We have to do better. Definitely when I hear about rape, it breaks my heart. And we can't continue to absolve ourselves of the responsibility of our actions that projected on the female and say she wanted it, or she dressed a certain way, or she came to my house and she knew what she was doing, or she looked at me a certain way, so she was asking for it. Let's take responsibility for the actions and decisions that we make. Because part of being a man is taking responsibility for your actions. So it goes without saying, no means no. Whatever the situation, whatever the circumstance, even if she gave you the green light and then she changed it, she has a right to it. It's her body, it's not yours. You're not entitled to a woman's body regardless of how she dresses or what she says or what signals you think she might have given you. No means no. So on behalf of all the men and brothers, I want to say that we're sorry to wives, our mothers, our sisters, our colleagues, Every female, we're sorry. For everyone who's been abused, we're sorry. For everyone who's been disrespected, sexually harassed, we're sorry. And we're aware that in this climate, we, are, we have what we call male entitlement and we're not subjected to harassment and, and sexual misconduct like women are. And we take that for granted, not realizing how hard it is for our women to live in today's society. So I say that we're sorry. And to our men, let us do better. Let us be better. Let us be the men that our future sons can be proud of. Let us be the men that our future daughters can be proud of. Let us be the sons that our mothers can be proud of. Finally, let us be the men that God can be proud of. Blessings.